Greetings, everybody. Welcome to Aoyama Cemetery. This is a place that I like to come to once a year. Uh, I usually ride my bicycle through the tunnel. You can drive car as well. Uh, I came here Sunday morning. There's not a lot of traffic, and we're going to do that on the bicycle. I'm just going to hold on to the steering wheel with both hands. You don't want to ride with a smartphone. Smartphone. This is one of the um, most famous cherry blossom tunnels. Now, there's a lot of them where one side of the road will meet the other side. And as the cherry trees, the, the Some Yoshino, mature, they start to go over and connect. And then what that leaves you with is this amazing tunnel that looks like it had snowed, but yet it's like really warm, about 70 degrees Fahrenheit, um, maybe 20, 21, 22 degrees Celsius. It's a really nice day. Uh, I'm going to take you on the bicycle. We're going to go to the end of the street, and I'm going to walk back and show you. Cherry blossoms in Japan give hope that, uh, you know, we've turned the corner on some stuff. And I know right now a lot of people are, are at home. They can't go outside. Uh, there's not a lot of hope uh, in Japan. We don't know what the situation is going to be like in two weeks from now, let alone right now. So we do know one thing for sure. We got cherry blossoms, and that means a lot. So I'm going to wait for the car to go by here, and then we're going to roll. Um, I'm just going to let you enjoy the cherry blossoms at a slow pace. Here we go, guys. We do have a bike path here. That's what the blue arrows are for. Ah, uh, it gets really nice around here. Here we go. We don't have any traffic at all. Let's go right down the middle of the street. This is one of the more famous cherry blossom tunnels in all of Japan. Now, the blossoms are about 40% bloomed, so it's going to get even better over the next, over the next uh, six, five, six days. Stay on the side of the road here. Not a lot of traffic here. The smell of incense is in the air. Oh, there's even some blossoms uh, blowing off of the trees. This is Aoyama Cemetery, one of the most famous uh, areas to see the cherry blossoms in the city of Tokyo. I'd say top 10 spot. And if you've never been here before, now you have. Now if you cross the street, there's more cherry blossoms, but the main part of it is right here that we just went through. So let's uh, park the bike and go walk back here and take a quick look around. Beautiful afternoon here in Japan. Uh. Oh, I could have done it wider. I should have done it a little wider. Well, that's all right. We're going to go over this direction here. Let me get lock the bike. We're not going to be too long. I came out here on Sunday morning for a few reasons. One of them is that um, so many people are home right now watching uh, streaming services and, and Netflix and Hulu and YouTube that it's hard to get a really good 4G LTE signal to make a clear live stream. I'm hoping that uh, by coming here in the morning on a Sunday, that will be possible. All right, now we're a little bit wider. It's different when you're walking, you know? There's something great about that rolling shot going through the tunnel. So we're gonna look up at this tree, this beautiful tree right here. 
the trees are all tagged too. Do you see that? The trees have like an address. <laughs> it says, uh, what does it say? Uh, red 1447. They're still blossoming. So we still got a ways to go before. before they all open up. And uh, this is a cemetery, but that doesn't mean, as long as you're respectful, you're not shouting. This is also a road. This is a, a main road, so. Brendan, thanks for taking us along for the ride. You're very welcome. I wish we had more um, cherry blossoms, but we're about, I'd say two days away from it really opening it up. I'm gonna pan over here to the left. You can see at the end of the cemetery here is a beautiful tree that just arcs over the walkway. So this is a very prestigious cemetery as well. If you're, if you're here, you could probably afford it. There's a massive crowd of people coming we're supposed to be practicing social distancing, so I'm just gonna wait from the past a little bit, talk to you. So there are a couple of really important uh, spots that we would say are like top 10 in Japan. Yesterday, I took you, and if you haven't seen it, go in there. It's called a Strovi. It's a streamed movie that I like to do. I do some very light editing, add a little bit of music in there, cut out some of the boring parts, but we also do a picture in picture so you can see both sides. And um, inside of the Strovi, uh, you can get a chance to look and see it at, Chidori Gafuji, which is one of the most popular spots. I'd say that's top three um, in Tokyo. That's the reason why I'm letting them go by. Let the traffic go by. Tony P's in the house. Hey, Tony, how you doing? Danny, how you doing, Danny? From, from cool Canada. All right, we're good. Let the traffic go by. Let's make our way. Cross. That's what we just did, riding the bike through here. Now these blue lines represent bike paths. So these are sort of new in the city. If you, if you see those, you shouldn't be riding on the sidewalks. It's actually against the law. What you should be doing is riding on the road with the cars and the cars will give you right away. Wow. Look at that cluster there. They never stand still. It's like a two-year-old. Hey, stand still, be respectful. Thank you. Beautiful. They just dance in the wind. When the blossoms get heavy like this, they catch every breeze. So that means the first time it rains, when they get the full bloom, or the first time there's really strong winds, all these petals start flying everywhere and we have a, a cherry blossom flurry, meaning it looks like it's snowing, it really does, where tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of white petals start falling onto the streets of Tokyo. And that's sort of the meaning of life. At least they see a lot of beauty in Japan like that through there. We're still so early in the cherry blossom season. Hey, Bonnie O'Shea, thank you. There's a pair right there. Yeah, right there, that, that part's about just 15% bloomed. Now, Sha, thank you. Oh, look at the unicorn. How cool is that? I love the, the, the trunks on the cherry blossom trees. There's so, so much personality to them. Do you see? Dark, dark bark to it. And every now and then you'll see a, a blossom popping out of the trunk, put, bringing life to a place you didn't think, didn't expect would pop out of. Michael Sasano, you mentioned on another stream that there's a day where a gust of wind blows the, the Sakura all over and it's beautiful. 
When does that happen? Well, Michael, that'll happen probably next week. Hopefully. <laughs> I'll, try, I'll try to come back. This is the place to be. If the cherry blossoms petals are falling, this is the place to be because when you're going through a tunnel like this, this is, we're getting into the really pretty part. When you go through a tunnel like this, it is absolutely amazing. And if you could just stand here like this, I can't use my other hand, but just imagine like this and going like this. Ah, it's like that, that paradise scene that you always think a fantasy. It is, it is a fantasy. It's as simple as that. It, it really is. All right. I, we have to be a little bit more respectful. Um, I could do it there because it's sort of an opening, but you know, this is a cemetery. Better to come during the day. Times a mini. All right. Do not do what she's doing. You're not allowed to ride on the sidewalk. But they're not from around here. They're visitors. That's what the blue line is for. Lisa, oh, there are some birds. They were more chirpy about an hour ago. I rode across town. It took a while to get here. Um, a lot of hills in Tokyo. You, you might not know, but from the Imperial Palace going up towards Shibuya, in order to get to Shibuya, you have to go over a couple of really kind of mighty hills. I say kind of because I'm just weak. Wow, look at this tree here. This is 100%. This one is... This tree here is about 100% bloomed. Look at her. Look at her. This is a different variety. This isn't a uh, the same as the other ones that are out there. I'll, I'll try to pan up here. Just everybody be respectful. Be on your best behavior. It, it looks like it. It snowed last night. And that's, that's just, to me, it's, it's such an amazing thing. It's not gonna snow again for the rest of the year, at least I hope not. But if it does, this is very much what it looks like. And this is why you come to Japan at this time of year. It's not just one tree. There's so many of them. Let's see if we can get a little bit closer to some of the blossoms. You can just lay on a blue sheet, right? You lay down underneath the tree and you look up. Right now I'm looking straight up at to the cherry blossom tree. There's a, a light breeze going through them which makes the blossoms dance. It animates them. Youth, right? When you're kids, you can't stand still. Kids never stand still. They, they're always running around, causing trouble, spilling stuff. Hey kids, stop running around. But then at the same time, you don't want them to stop running around because they bring a, such an amazing energy, don't they? Look at the way the sun is just backlighting the flowers and giving it a special glow to it. Shane, Shane tells his kids that. <laughs> I'm gonna pan around here. Here's a nice cluster of them. Again, they won't stand still. Showboating. Look at me. Hey, Dad, look at me. I can jump all up and down the screen. Look at that. John, I'm learning Japanese because I love Japan and I've learned Sanskrit and Hindi because I love India. You have, you have the best of two worlds. But I don't know, I don't know any Hindi. My mom never told me. She said, you live in America, you don't need it. Now I kind of wish I did. Hey, Jay Burden's here. Too pretty. Thank you, John, for showing the beautiful cherry blossoms. I will return someday. And they will be here. Suede Hightower, love the channel. Thank you, Suede. This is what I'm talking about. Look at this. 
you see, it's, never touch the cherry blossoms. They're very, very gentle. Um, it's just popped out of the bark of the tree probably over the last year. And you can see cherry blossoms just coming out of it. Life finds a way. Let's quote, let's quote the doctor from Jurassic Park, Chaos Theory. You cannot control life. Life will find a way. It just pops out at you in all directions. Look at that. If I was a bee, I would stick my head in there so deep, never come out. It's shaking at the thought. Uh, this isn't Yanaka, this is Aoyama Cemetery. It's a very respectful bee here. In, in the distance, you see a beautiful red tree. Do you see that? These are different varieties of, of blossoms. Not all of them are cherry blossoms. Sakura. But I'm going to move a, a little bit further away. That, that one is a different variety to these here, which are the Somei Yoshino trees, and they're just not ready. A little bit shy. They're right now soaking in every bit of ray, sun rays, and they're gonna bust open, bring some life to the cemetery. And I think that, that is the most beautiful thing of, of, of all. In a place that you would, you would think is a very, I don't know, grim place, it's also a very beautiful place too and filled with life around it. That's the tree that we were just at. Over the years, the limbs have been cut to spur more growth in different directions or just to protect, you know, people. People come here to, to uh, say hello to their family members and to remember them and when they do they always walk around and it brings hope doesn't it cherry blossoms just for a moment you forget about all the other stuff that's happening and you just focus on flowers and you know I'm a dude but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't appreciate the beauty of nature get out focus Finger. There we go. Nah, she's not standing still anyway. Hyperactive. JC writes in, I'm a dude too. <laughs> We're all dudes. A lot of dudes here. They're like, they're like moments where you just want to stop time and stand in that moment and soak it all up because you know it's not going to last forever. If you stand there and look at the cherry blossoms, it's not going to change that much. It'll shake. It looks like it's going to stay there forever. But inevitably, the cherry blossoms don't last forever. They will blow off of the trees. And what you have left is this. I didn't do it. It was the wind such a beautiful thing and I, I want to put it back on there in the tree but you can't do that let's put it here leave it for yeah it's not bad it's interesting let's take a look at this marker and we'll go back to the cherry blossoms this was uh, put in place in 2007 by the governor of Tokyo Ishihara-san who was uh, very much won of the Olympics back in the, the early 2000s and fought for that in, mem in memoriam. Laid to rest here in the foreign section of the Aoyama Cemetery are men and women who came to Japan in the 19th and early 20th centuries. Many of them played leading roles in contributing greatly to the modernization of Tokyo, of Japan. We have erected this monument to commemorate their achievements and ensure their memory is passed on to posterity. That's very nice. Yeah, Aoyama is a place there's a lot of... Um, um, embassies, a lot of uh, foreign influence here in this town. And it's nice to see Japan. So there's, there's a name right there 
in it. That's not Japanese. Uh, cracker. And you'll see mixed in here, Westerners, Western graves mixed in with uh, Japanese family uh, spots. And that's, it's kind of neat. There's a cross over there. Alice Louisa. George Bathwaite, Brathwaite. And this one's harder to see. And uh, Whitney, I believe it says. There's Maggie McLaren. And then on the other side, you have uh, Japanese family plots here. Yeah, it seems odd to go to the cemetery to celebrate or go cherry blossom viewing, but it's a peaceful place. It's interesting, he's, he's stopping the traffic. Wonder why. It's a beautiful family plot as well. This is a very prestigious part of Japan, part, part of Tokyo and Japan, Aoyama. University is not too far away. It's about, you could probably walk to Shibuya in about 10 minutes from here through Omote Sando, maybe 15. And again, a lot of, a lot of foreign residents here, usually the land prices, the properties are pretty high, so companies will pay for visiting foreign workers. Clint Barnes, thank you so much, Clint. Welcome and thanks for joining us on this beautiful walk through Aoyama Cemetery. Tokyo is a very navigable city by bicycle. The more and more, uh, more and more that you ride through it, the more you find everything takes about 30 minutes to get from one side to the other. You just follow along the road. Don't go on the sideway, sidewalks, but follow along the road. Let's go down the middle here. And you can go pretty fast if you, if you really chug. <laughs> you can go pretty fast with the speed of traffic. And we're just warming up. This is one of the spots. I wanted to take you to the top 10 cherry blossom spots. Uh, this is one of them. There's the, there's the tree that we just went by. That's a beautiful tree. Beautiful tree. Uh, over there is Midtown. That's Rapungi Midtown, I believe. Looks like it. And then that's Rapungi Hills on the other side. Yeah. So we're, we're, we're in between Rapungi and Shibuya right now. It's another reason to come by bicycle. It's just so easy to get around. Um, just do be careful if you're not used to, to riding bicycles, you might want to get travel insurance, double up on that and just go, go really slow. When, when you get used to the streets, you can go faster. But Kanai and I have been riding um, bicycle for the last three weeks now. And we're, we're avoiding public transportation just to be, just to be safe. And it's been pretty good because the, the weather's been nice and we can get, get, stay in shape. And you learn more about the city when you get off of the subway and you get onto the roads, just walking around. I once walked from Kanagawa across Tokyo to Chiba. Let's jump over the wire here. I once walked, um, I think we can go this way. I saw some cherry blossoms. Did I? This is through Aoyama Cemetery. I thought I saw some cherry blossoms on the other side. Oh, there's a beautiful tree over there. Let's go, let's go scout that out. Let's just be respectful. 
yeah, there's some, um, uh, there's a lot of parks here in Japan and in Tokyo that I think I could show you. But the thing is like the Meguro River, I probably should have went to this morning because you don't want to go. Uh, let's wait, let's wait. We'll go in the morning. I'll probably leave my house at like 6 a.m., get there at seven. There won't be a lot of people around. I think that's the best way to do it. Right now, you really don't want to go. You, you want to practice social distancing and stay away from people. It's just even in, even though the situation looked good in Japan, there's nothing good about it. You still want to uh, keep these habits up because we don't know how long we're going to be uh, living like this. It's just get it, make it a habit. Um, but the Nak Nakameguro and the Meguro River area, uh, I'll take you there in about 48 to 72 hours when it's really, really, really busting out because we can feel that right now. The blossoms are just just on the, on the verge of popping. Like, look at the one over here. Let's go take a look at this beautiful, old-looking tree. Just stay, res be respectful and don't make any loud noises, especially disturbing people that are visiting the cemetery to show respect to the ones that they've lost. But my feeling always is that uh, the people that are resting here probably feel happy to have visitors and bring some life to a place that's often too quiet. Toby, this one's at the end, look. This one's at the end, the, the leaves are busting out, the blossoms are done. Wayno is really crowded. That's a reason why I went early. Wayno is one of the top spots. I would say Wayno is a, a pretty popular place, but it's not one of my favorites. It's a, it's a good one if you have friends to go drinking with, to hang out and spend a few hours after work there. But it's not a place where, I don't know, you go there just to see the flowers. There's some good parts to it, I guess. But it's a place like this. It's just, it seems like morbid that it's a cemetery. But places like this and Shinjuku Gyoen as well, it's pretty nice. Where you really can just soak it up. This is beautiful. I love just, right now we're, we're right underneath the tree looking up into the sky. Beautiful blue skies today in Tokyo. And, and you see what are just puffs of clouds, little popcorn attached to the tree like it snowed last night. The sun coming from behind it, making the petals the slightly translucent. They glow in the sun. There's a breeze coming through here. Shortcuts here. Thank you, Shortcut. Meifu, Shinkijuju, Canada. Uh, can you say hi to Krista? Our Hanami tickets will be canceled soon, so probably. Yeah. Hey, Krista. Welcome to the cemetery. <laughs> It's not as bad as you think. It's, it's really peaceful here. Um, and I, you know, I, I just wanted to say cherry blossoms, they bring hope to a place like this and you have life around it, it brings hope. And it's a nice time of year to be in Japan, but so many people have had to cancel over the last uh, six weeks. They've had to make that tough decision. Uh, I, people who had saved money for years some of them to make it here 2020 for the spring and then they can't make it um i kind of feel like it's i, I feel like I, I want i have to take you around i want to take you around to the spots that you would have gone to if, if you had been here oh look at that beautiful cherry blossom all right let's go take a look here this is another variety not all of them are white some yoshino trees one day i will study and become a botanist of sort of cherry blossoms. Until then, we have an amateur man with a camera walking around. You can see the, how the blossoms have fallen onto the ground here and just made it colorful. Just the green and pink spread all along the walkway. And somebody has, somebody's definitely swept up here, but it's hard to keep them from sticking to the water. Look at that. 
they just stick and stay there until somebody cleans it. All right, let's look up into this tree. This is so beautiful. This is 100% bloomed. This one is at 100% and you're starting to see the petals fly off. They'll fly right into the camera from here. Wow. And the sun is hitting them from, from behind, from this angle. Let's see. They really pop from here. Yeah, this is beautiful. They won't stand still for you. Pink snow. <laughs> That's one way to look at it. Pink snow. Yeah, this is the emoji that you're seeing right now. The yellow in the middle with the pink, pink petals. There's an emoji for cherry blossoms. This would be it. I think this looks like the, what it was modeled after. Japan makes the emojis. So a lot of them are Japan centric and, and uh, uh, I'm pretty curious into, into how that happened and why there's a story behind everything. Beautiful. There it is. Bicolored, bicolored has it right. Let's, let's pull away a little bit and we can see it from a distance here. A lot of the petals have, have flown the coop. Do you see that? Just leaving the, and very soon they're gonna, these are gonna fall off in this, and the, already the leaf is popping out of the, the branch there, and it's gonna, the tree will turn green for the rest of the year. So if you come back here in about two weeks, it's gonna be green. But for now, it's beautiful pink. Look at this. Let's look up from underneath there. Hey, Marty. Marty is stunned <laughs> with love. If we look up, pan up into the blue sky, we're obstructed with pink blossoms. Look at this. Hana Fubuki, a flurry of Hana petals blowing at you. It's the stuff that makes Ghibli movies so beautiful too, right? The scene of everyday life, a little girl playing in the countryside and a, f a petal flurry hits her, <laughs> knocking her down. I don't think she gets knocked down in the Ghibli movie. Yeah, I did send out to our Daimyo supporters on Patreon um, Kit Kats, Sakura Mochi Kit Kats. They're pretty good. Oh, that's pretty. That's the whole deal, right? Just spending the day, forgetting work, spending a day outside with the cherry blossoms, get some food and picnic, try to eat healthier foods because the, the oily stuff sticks with you the rest of the day, I found. Let's walk back out here. I think we can go out this way. Thanks, guys. You've been very respectful. Hey, David Kimura's out here. John, I missed the road trip with Kanai. What? Well, we're gonna, I think we're going to be renting a car like once a week or so. Kanai is pretty busy next week, so maybe I'll go out with somebody else. But um, another friend that you might know. But um, just renting a car and driving out the countryside really makes uh, relaxes us. And Tasty Chronicles, how you doing? Tasty, just got the DVD. Hitchhiking. I was following the cherry blossoms from Kagoshima up back in 2017. That was beautiful. Yeah, here's the end of the street. Now you can keep going. I wonder if maybe we'll do that. We're 34, 34 35 minutes in. Let's follow this runner. My bike's doing okay. So let's cross the, cross the way. Let's, let's just, you can look back one more time at the cherry blossoms here. I'm standing in the center of the, the street, but if I do this in about 48 hours, it's just gonna fill in with more white and be one of those just spectacular photos. Come in the morning. It, the sun rises around 6.15, 6 o'clock. 
you come in the morning, you'll really be uh, presented with this wonderful view. People w running in the morning, a lot of runners going through here. There's my bike. Stay. Right, we're gonna cross over. And you can see on the other side there, just a little bit, we're gonna walk down here. You can see there's some cherry blossoms. It looks like it's, uh, looks pretty impressive over there too, to be honest with you. Maybe I missed something. The cemetery does go on pretty much all the way to, to Rapungi. Here come some birds swooping down right now. Pigeons. These pigeons are hams. They really love to get in the middle of the photos. Middle of the, the episodes. Oh yeah, swoop on down and run away, guys. Yeah. I know how you operate. All right, here's a map here. Let's just take a quick look and see so we don't get lost. It's, it's hard to get lost. So we've, we've come down here. This main part is uh, the tunnel, the road. This is all the cemetery. You can see right here the map of Tokyo Aoyama Cemetery. Uh, it has 140 years of history. And right now we're at this intersection here and there's a little bit more to it. And we'll just take you to that final part so you can say you've seen pretty much all the cemetery at cherry blossom season. The parts that you wouldn't want to miss and that's what makes live streaming pretty cool. We just, we just do it, you know? Just do it, get out there, stream it. Oh, they got a convertible. I'm so jealous they got a convertible. It's hard to find convertibles in Japan. All right, after this white car that's backing out, we have a pretty nice uh, view of the tunnel Cherry Blossom Tunnel, which is the end of the cemetery, Dumption Rapungi. I'm looking left and right. Okay, we'll take, and we'll, I, that looks like a really nice spot to walk. Wow, a lot of people have parked here. And there might be a, a funeral in progress. And there's the end of the street right there. There's a runner coming this way. Some, some walkers. They do get trimmed a lot, the cherry blossoms. They will get trimmed down a little bit. I've been to Hachiko's other statue in Odate. I haven't seen him in... in he's stuffed in Wano Museum in a museum in Wano. <laughs> Poor Hachiko. All right, let's go back here. It's a lot of cars. They're, they're trying to park in a place where there's almost no more parking. Here's a, a young tree. They do grow pretty quickly, the cherry blossoms. Uh, and, but once again, there's more than one variety of cherry blossom. This one is still budding. Now I'm gonna. T I can take it to the right, but we need to get the 500 likes. That's up to you by watching. You have a community responsibility, like this kid, to click the like button. I'll do it later. You could do it now. Let's see if we get the 500 likes, community members. It's up to you. Be respectful. If you like cherry blossoms, click like. Never mind me. Do it for the blossoms. Whee! 
That was a delayed sound effect here. Um, let's walk down this peaceful alley. I think I'm, I'm, this is our bonus time here to go down here. We're very close to 500 likes. Would you prefer seeing this scene or, or this one? Da -da. <laughs> turn it around. There's like 900 people going, turn it around, turn it around. Okay, okay, okay. I know, it is a little windy. I do love this statue here from one of the cemeteries. Uh, stones, very peaceful, very respectful. We're at the bonus stage, we're 50 likes away. I trust you guys, we'll get there. Just take a quick walk through here. It's beautiful. Looks like a college campus my, with the, minus the tombstones. So many of the college campuses have such beautiful, the longer the history is, the more beautiful the trees are on, on campuses, many of them historical. I went to Ohio State University. We had a, a spot called the Oval and it was pretty nice. A lot of historical trees there, but we also had Mirror Lake, which is this lake where we would all jump in before Michigan, uh, sorry, I can't even say that state's name, before that game from the team up north. Beautiful. And now when I go back there, which isn't as often as I wish, I hope that, that I would, uh, you see the trees grow just a little bit bigger and bigger each time. Wow, that's Rapungi in the distance. We're pretty much in the middle of the cemetery now. There's some blossoms over to the right side, so let's meander in that direction. There's a cluster right here. Look at this. This is beautiful. So heavy with the cherry blossoms right in front of you. Hey, Big Chris, thanks for the coffee. I will be stopping off on the way home. It's a long ride. It took me about 40 minutes to get here because of the hills. They, it won't stand still. Let's see what your brothers and sisters look like up here. <laughs> Judas Bites writes in here. Hi from Arizona, go Bucks. Buckeyes are all over the country. You'll find them everywhere. They're here in Japan too. Not, not in, in such great numbers, but. Big Ten's represented everywhere. I've, I've learned to love our, our friends from the Pac-10 and the ACC and the SEC as well. So <laughs> after, after you graduate, you're like, yeah, everybody, it's all good. Except when we play your team. It's a nice view here. Hey, Lenny's here. Long time to see. How you doing, Lenny? Ronald writes in his allegiance. <laughs> I hear you, Ronald. Oh, it's beautiful on this side. A lot of slopes here, a lot of hills inclines makes you work but when you arrive at the top you get a nice view and that is worth it it's worth the hike the the, the trunks of the some yoshino are, are really dark and that's what makes the the blossoms stick out it really does when you see them against the dark dark bark of them the white flowers peter barrett is here from australia how you doing peter thank you Chris Wan is here from Canada. Thank you, Chris. You're here in Japan right now watching this. JC writes, oi, oi, oi. <laughs> I see that too. 
Yeah, I'll be going to the Megoto River in, in two or three days. I'm just waiting for the... Oh, look at that, it's beautiful. That These are the kind of scenes, I think, that make it so worth it. And the cherry blossoms are so short-lived and in less than a week, they're gone. This one is at 100%, it looks like. The variety of trees is different than the other ones. It's very beautiful and... Uh, so quickly, the blossoms are just gonna fly away. Yeah. Hmm. Here's where the cars are. I don't know what the deal is. I guess they have some sort of event going on, or is a cemetery. This one up here is just budding. This one's 72 hours from busting out. It's gonna be so beautiful. Tony P's with us walking the dog. <laughs> All right, this is, that's where we just walked from. It's beautiful. It's just this quiet little path with Almost nobody around. Let's go back this way. We're not too far away from having 5G in Tokyo. I think with the city really pushing the Olympics, it, it seems like it's not gonna happen, but we're not sure. Never, nevertheless, there's some runners going by. Nevertheless, what, what it is doing is really updating the city, keeping people busy. And I think that's not a bad thing either. They're setting up 5G signal um, places in the traffic lights and the phones are starting to come out and I think that's going to really change live streaming where we have 720p video, which isn't always 720p, 5G will be able to uh, uh, keep up, deliver content faster and maybe we'll have 4K live streams crystal clear. That's my hope. But until then, uh, we, we're stuck with 720p. But when I started this two years ago, we had 480p. We didn't even have 720 live streams and they looked okay. But the problem is if it starts off as a 720p live stream and the signal goes down, it goes Minecraft, meaning it gets really pixelated. You have to keep the bandwidth, the signal up there. Let's, uh, we can, let's take a right this way and take a look at this tree. But 5G is a game changer. That's going to be really nice. And uh, that's this year. So whether the Olympics are held or not, we will get 5G. Oh, that's really nice. These have a s slight scent. Not really. Not really scented. Yeah, that's that's the reason why I'm doing the the strovies, the streamed videos I call them. Just stream video strovy. I just I, I made that up. It's not gonna catch on. <laughs> Nobody says that. Let's see that cherry blossom is bigger than the than the Rapungi Midtown. It is really pretty. Here's here's one just capturing all the sun and living in the moment. Yeah, I did one last night. The reason why is that uh, Chidori Ga, Ga Fuji, I've, I've live streamed before. Uh, this really beautiful park across the street from Yasukuni, it's a uh, um, Kita no Maru Park near Kudanshita. It's, it's an amazing place to walk around um, and spend a few hours, just ride your bicycle out there, then go to the next spot. Not too far away from there is another spot I want to go to um, by the Tokyo, by Tokyo, Tokyo Dome. I'm gonna duck underneath here. By Tokyo Dome. And they have uh, another park with some beautiful cherry blossoms as well. Some parks are very famous for cherry blossoms and some are famous for ume blossoms, plum blossoms. 
there's a tunnel that we went through about 20 minutes ago. That's about 40% bloomed. It's gonna be so much more beautiful in, in 48 hours. So if you are here against doctor's orders, because <laughs> I'm not supposed to be traveling anywhere uh, as of a few days ago, according to the US State Department's level four warning. But if you are here, um, this is a good place to come. There's the tunnel. Goes through there. Sasadango, stop it, JC. Ah, I'm getting hungry. Kanai and I are probably going to be riding either back to Fuji Yoshida. Maybe that's in two weeks. We're thinking about riding back to um, uh, Niigata or something and the food out there just to eat and see cherry blossoms and get some, get some fresh vegetables. So we might have a, a couple more. Oh, this is beautiful. Might have a couple more um, driving live stream days coming. We just did one uh, not too long ago. We rented a car, we went to Ibaraki. Go check up on the progress of my friend's uh, um, house. He has an abandoned house that he's been renovating. A uh, channel called Tokyo Lama. Really, really nice, beautiful house. It, and you can see it coming together now. Every time I go over, uh, to his place and, and see what's changed. You really can can tell this is going to be a place that I, I want to live in <laughs> as well. I'm jealous. Nothing against nothing against Tokyo, but Ibaraki has a lot more space. Yeah, Ibaraki has a lot more space. All right. So for for those of you joining us, it seems like we picked up some people. Uh, I'm going to take you one last time and get closer to the cherry blossom here so you can get a look hey photo Luke Hawaii yay we were just there uh, there's more blossoms now thanks for showing it oh you're home okay photo Luke Hawaii uh, Austin and Cheryl I couldn't I couldn't see you guys this time because it's just a tough time but uh, next time you come I will be here I'll be here the next time after that too by the way <laughs> I'm not going anywhere thanks guys and Caitlin's here. Kate, Caitlin, thank you so much. Welcome to Japan, Caitlin. All right, let's look at these blossoms here. I just soaked this up for a while. This is the first one that we started with 20, uh, 50 minutes ago. And you can see they don't like to stand still. Yeah, I do have some You Found Me cards right now, but I'm, I'm trying not to find, I'm trying to ask people not to find me so then That's my favorite view, looking up at a tree. Shinjuku, Shinjuku Gyoen is really pretty for that. You look up and just look, in, look up for 20 minutes till your neck hurts and Kanai gives you a massage. See Kanai, my neck hurts, gives you a massage. You gotta give her one, it's a part of the deal. No free rides. Yeah, you might get something you gotta return it. It's, it's part of the deal. All right, it's a good day, huh? This is this is the start of a good day. I'm glad I woke up early for this. Um, I got up at uh, 7:30, 8 o'clock. Yeah, the, it might the signal might be going down too as people are waking up in the area using the 4G LTE. <clears throat> Over the last few days, because everybody's at home, nobody's working. Uh, the signal strengths are going down because uh, there's not enough bandwidth for these live streams. So I'm probably doing uh, on and off live streams and some strovies, which are streamed movies. So I'll take you in there. I'll edit them a little bit, add a little bit of music, throw some music in there. Just very basic. Some picture in picture where you can get a, uh, it's kind of neat. In fact, go back and watch the one I uploaded about 10 hours ago. Um, it doesn't get the same amount of views as the live streams because it's a live streaming channel. YouTube's algorithm doesn't prioritize that so much, but it's in there. Uh, the midnight snack runs. Uh, Kanai's not too happy about me going out at midnight and stuff. 
you know, but I probably will do one <laughs> sometime soon. I want to go to Akihabara. She said, you're going to Akihabara. I said, yeah, you're right. I'm not going to Akihabara. So I didn't go. But uh, I probably will do some do some night stuff too because I know that um, you guys are all in different parts of the world, different time zones, and it's nice to uh, uh, try to um, do a live stream at a time that you can catch it. So I'll try to do more of that and try to vary it up a little bit. Leslie's right. Happy wife life. <laughs> That's right. You don't want to make... That's a big dog. You have to have a big house to have a big dog. That's pretty rare in, in Aoyama. Look at that fancy walk. Is that like Holly? Lassie! 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 It's a big one. Very big one. Yeah, there's almost nobody here, but it's gonna start to pick up. This is such a popular, popular place. Um, people start walking down here in about an hour. But I, I wanted to come here earlier in the morning, not just for the bandwidth, but because there's not a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take you to the Meguro River in, in two or three days when the, it fills in a little bit. It should be spectacular. I also would love to see that at night. I bring a big light, a massive torch with me, and you just move it around and you can illuminate it and it looks like snow. At night, the cherry blossoms are even more beautiful. It's so striking because the black sky, the black sky is such a contrast with the white petals on the, on the trees. It's nice with the blue skies and the natural light, but it is something so amazing with, the, with night and light on the blossoms. It's, uh, if we get a chance then, you know, I'm, I'm only taking bicycles. If we get a chance, I'm gonna go and do that here. Goes to the cemetery for the bandwidth. That's right. Go where there's no people with cell phones. <laughs> Go where there's not a lot of people. Thanks, guys, for watching this for an hour. I do appreciate it. Uh, hit, the, hit the like button. Encourage me to do more of these live streams. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of them. Uh, I put notifications on Patreon and the Discord server. If you're interested in traveling about Japan, you have questions about it, go to Discord. Um, we have about 7,500 uh, users there. There's always a thousand people online talking about stuff, including the cherry blossoms. We have a, a dedicated cherry blossom 2020 uh, page where you can share your photos from the past and see photos from this year as well. If you can't get to Japan this year, this is a place to go to kind of sort of be there and talk with people who are planning the trips or in the same situation as you. Thanks everybody. See you in the next live stream, which could be later today. It is Sunday. And if it's Sunday, it's Sunday. Bye all.